Hi friends, uh, we are starting with the first tutorial. Uh, today we are going to learn how to make a one point perspective, uh, especially a street view. Uh, as you can see in the page that we are drawing, uh, what I am doing is I am trying to create a eye level point. Now this point is specifically the height of a eye where a person stands right in the middle of the road. So if this is the street then you can see this much gap we are leaving just to highlight the uh, frame from where the street um, emerges or the street collides so the idea of how to depict a correct uh, one point perspective while making a streetscape is to create a very good rectangular fr frame and thereafter what we do is we create a vertical lines of uh, different buildings which are going to uh, come one after the other and uh, what you can see over here is how we have to create a kind of a vertical grid uh, okay so this this grid that you see over here is is uh, supposed to be the um, the base of the house where you have steps which are uh, leading to the plinth level. The plinth level is the platform where a uh, house uh, floor starts. Um, it is generally to protect the house. So the plinth is connected. Now you can see the steps, how the steps have to be created. Now all the lines which are emerging from the vanishing point, they uh, create a different uh, depth. So the the closer house, uh, the, the house which is closer to the uh, viewpoint, have to be a little darker and the houses which are behind can be a little lighter so that to create a very good three dimensional effect. Now what I am doing is I am actually uh, shading the um, the plinth, the platform or what we call is uh, the front uh, veranda of the house and uh, we are trying to create a shadow pattern so that we can highlight the house in a proper manner. Now this line which you see which is going up now we try to create a door in front of the steps and as you can see the height of the uh, door has to be little higher than a human height because uh, a human is average height of a human is five and a half feet to six feet so we try to create a door which is seven feet in high and this is the middle line which actually uh, divides the door shutter so we have two door shutters and this is how the the vertical division or the horizontal partitioning of the uh, door which is an antique door so we are trying to create the antique door pattern and uh, what you can see over here is there are little uh, mm, frames of the door of uh, how uh, we see in the old traditional houses of India and uh, yeah so we are trying to create now we are moving on to the upper level of the uh, floor so this is a kind of, of a extension of the slab which protrudes out the house and which actually pro protects the uh, doorway so we are connecting these lines one by one we are creating rectangular uh, beams which are actually taking the load of the chaja above so this chaja can house a small balcony from where the first floor access can be given to the people so when a person wants to look out to the street they can you know just get down on onto the balcony and they can look out so this is how we connect the vanishing point and then we extend it towards the front frame of our image and there we just close it and we do a little bit shading there so this is how the shading happens and then you can add on to the details the railing part of it the handrail you know to hold so that is created here and then you can see the uh, vertical shading which is to be given where you have vertical uh, frame of the uh, of the view so every vertical frame uh, we need to put a vertical line so that we highlight the verticality of the uh, of the portion of the sketch and every uh, horizontal member which is pro protruding out of any uh, wall or a platform or a street or uh, the road level these are the horizontal elements so we need to shade them or we do a little rendering techniques uh, to show the horizontality so this goes up 
little bit and then we create the uh, terrace the uh, projection above the first floor of the house and then again we do a little bit shading over there so this is the shading and uh, we just keep on extending it towards the front of the frame and uh, the now you can see the house is getting a shape so this is how the um, doors on the first floor uh, need to be shown uh, in, in perspective so the farther the doors are from the vanishing point the bigger they look so they look bigger to our eyes and as soon as they go towards the vanishing point they reduce down so it's a drastic change so we need to keep in mind how the shading happens and how it has to be cleared okay so this part is almost complete so we have around we took like five minutes to finish this part of the sketch so this is the center niche or uh, between the doors we have a niche where we can just keep some elements and these kind of houses are seen in the uh, the traditional settlements of India maybe in Rajasthan you can see a few of these kind of houses or you can see any semi urban or semi uh, you know like the uh, the core city areas of of any any uh, traditional town of India you can see these kind of houses so now we come back to the uh, the ground level and we create a small niche next to the door so these niches are the elements of houses the traditional uh, settlements and uh, yeah this detail so the the niche which is near to us will be a little bigger than the far off niche uh, and then we create another niche below it so this gives the scale of how you know the door is arranged 